everybody. Welcome to Ticket Stubs and Popcorn. Hey, everybody. How you doing? I'm Peter. And I'm still Frank. Perfectly Frank. Sometimes brutally Frank. Um, wow. So I could go on and on, but then I'd be just, um, just Frank, that super annoying guy. Anywho, um, who are we talking about today? Alrighty. Wow. Campbell. <laughs> Today's feature actor is... Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. Yeah, a lot of fun. He's a fun, fun guy. Funny he kid. is. Um, so for the end of the show, I want to talk about, um, this occurred to me um, watching a movie the other day, um, a movie prop that, uh, that, you would, um, that you would like to have. Frank, that's a good one. That is a good like one. That yeah, one. I'm going to be brutally All frank. Right. That was a good All one. Right, I like cool. that question. Yeah. All right. So, um, all righty. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, that'll, that'll be good. Chris Pratt. Before we start, Chris I Pratt. just want to uh, say thank you to our friends from Pinion Bottle Company in Reno, Nevada. Oh, look at that. Out of, out we of got state. A, look at that. We're, we're, got, like, we're intercontinental. They, they, <laughs> are, they are viewers and listeners. and uh, so, we, so we're pretty big in. Reno? Reno. And Australia. We, yeah, Australia. Right? All right. <laughs> well, go, go figure. So uh, figure they got out. a wonderful beer selection. Just try them out if you're, I don't know, All right. going, going through Lake Tahoe or driving up to uh, yeah. Burning Man this or you're in there. And <laughs> anywhere around Reno, Sparks also. Awesome. All right. All right. So Chris Pratt. Um, Chris Pratt. I'm going to go for this. Oh, yeah. I'll good. start off with Chris Pratt. Um, so really funny guy, um, really good. I think that my first one, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump into TV because this is where I first really got to know him oh. as uh, Andy Dwyer in uh, Parks and Recreation. Mm -hmm. Really, really funny. Um, his character really grew. I think he was supposed to just be this quick little doofus, and um, and he just was just too much fun to have, yeah. you know, as a character. And he was really, really, really. Cool. Um, great character. They they did so much fun stuff with him, and they let him grow, but not like in such a way that he ended the series, you know, like so like great and out of character. He's still a little childlike in a yeah. way, but um, but really really fun. He um, physically funny, and he got a lot of really great lines. Um, so he was just he was just really really fun in that. And um, it was really fun to uh, to see him grow it, into other stuff. It's good when you see somebody and then you recognize them in a movie. Like, and yeah. You go, oh, that, that's nice. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's funny. You see all those memes like because he's got a very, very, very tiny part in uh, Wanted mm. with um, what's his face? Professor X. And uh, <laughs> it's just funny when you see, you know, when Professor X slams Andy Dwyer in the face with a keyboard or, you know, when uh, he hits Star-Lord or whatever. So, but that brings me into the next thing okay. that I really like him in, which is all the, the, uh, the Marvel Universe stuff. Yeah. He's, uh, he's really, I think he's a, I think he's a great Star-Lord mm -hmm. and, um, and he plays well among the bigger, like yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy, I yeah. thought was super fun. It, it, and it's and, a bigger... And then when they sort of cast, yeah, and then you know, sort of brings brings that group into the bigger. You got MCU. it, and it's still bigger. Yeah, yes, and, it, exactly. and it still works. So to get that ensemble yeah, yeah. group yeah. to to fold into a um, another ensemble group, um, I thought was was really great. He's able to hold his own and not totally get lost. In, oh yeah, um, no, yeah. Among I, yeah. all those other great Definitely characters, get lost. so and it's really interesting because like there's that scene in um, Infinity War where he basically does screw up and he sort of gets off his game by worrying so much about Gamora that they can't get the glove off of Thanos and it's yeah. just like you're just like Peter man, what are you doing? It's just, you get mad at the character, which which is great because the performance can keep you so much into it. That um, you yeah. get mad and you just, just like, come on, man! Yeah. Like, I get what you're doing, but you shouldn't yeah. be doing that. Big picture, buddy. Like, um, so I get really sort of amped up about that. Big, you know, big Marvel guy. So I, uh, I really, really, really enjoy him in that. He's, um, I, I think that that his characters it can be very easy for him to sort of bring that sort of Andy Dwyer dopey kind of guy into other characters, and he doesn't. Right. right, like Peter right. Quill is very different than Andy Dwyer, um, and you get to see 
you get to see Chris Pratt do, you know, act a little, you know, like sort of broaden his acting, which I think is pretty cool. So, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. So that's that's my second one, just all of him and his MCU stuff. Yeah. So, right. and then, um, I guess in a way that sort of, you know, tilts the, 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 the meter back toward his more childlike is um, the Lego movie, where he's just so damn adorable. I'm sorry. You just like, you I, can't help but you walk away it. from that movie in a good mood. Like, oh, exactly. Because everything is awesome. Everything is just, awesome. Everything is awesome. Yeah. And it's just, you're just so, it's such an uplifting performance. It's so much fun. And yeah. it's so, there's so much enthusiasm there. And that just had to be so much fun to do. So good for him. It was just great. Um, I did like the first one better than the second one. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, I did. Because too. it was all just so fresh and new and all that, all yes. that stuff. Yeah. But, um, yeah, just he's just really good in that, and for him to be able to bring that, I mean, a lot of his, what I liked about his Andy Dwyer was some of the physical comedy stuff, which was great, um, but to have that sort of childlike innocence and and still and be able to portray that mm -hmm. just with a voice acting job, I think was was I, really I, really great because there's so much that he does with his body and like and, and with Guardians, you know, and his face and stuff like that. That for him to be able to still, you know, give the performance and do what he needs to do with voice acting is um, is, is is fantastic. I, I just I really like him for all those reasons. So very anyway. good. All righty, we so we have those are, my, we, those are my three. We, we have gotta, some overlap. We got some overlap. Uh, I would be surprised if we, we do. didn't. Uh, I am going to. Uh, I'll start off with the MCU. Um, okay. Guardians of the Galaxy and the, all of the Avengers, you know, combined with with those characters brought in from Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, the Peter Quill slash Star Lord, right. whatever we're gonna call him. Yeah. Um, what 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 I like a lot about his performance, it's you you could you could kind of say. Oh, he's going to be doing, you know, like the Han Solo thing here. And it, and it's it's not quite. Um, he he definitely has I mean, his own character. That, that oh, roguish space yeah. guy. Yeah, but he still has he still has his own character. The thing the thing I really appreciate of his work in that franchise, but especially in the Guardians side of it, not and not so much in the uh, the Avengers and all that. But in the in the Guardians, he's one of the few people who you see. You see his face. Yeah, he's not yeah. made up. So so many have a lot of work done to the point when you get Rocket, you don't you you never even see Bradley. Cooper. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Other and ones you don't have, even have hear a lot Bradley of makeup. Cooper. No, he's yeah. definitely changing his voice. Um, when you when you see, you know, Chris Pratt. He's yeah, he's playing he's playing and even though he does have some other alien blood mixture in there, he's an Earthling. Yeah. I mean that's where he's from, and that kind of makes you, I don't know, maybe pull a little more for him. <laughs> I don't know, is that is that right? But yeah. I, you, you kind of do. He's one of our guys. He's one of our guys. Yeah. You kind of do. That's racist. And he that's that's planetist, <laughs> but. Um, the the other the other thing that's wonderful is that he's got this connection. He's got this connection to Earth, not just because of uh, his mother, but he's got this connection through music. Yeah, and that kind of adds his other little oh, dimension, yeah, and yeah. that's and that kind of brings the connection to everybody else listening to him listening. To right. Them. So um, all right, Good. I enjoy we'll that a lot. There. Um, uh, Second movie, I'll be honest, the movies, the movie's okay, but in, um, I like his character. He makes it believable in uh, Jurassic World uh, when he plays uh, Owen, who plays that that typical role that we all have come to know as yeah. the heroic the raptor wrangler. That's yeah. that's a, that's a common that's right. a common yeah. job. 
yeah. title. I thought that was such a cookie cookie cutter. Yeah, you know, it's like they're 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 literally those movies. They're just pieces of candy. At least the very first one, the first Jurassic oh, you Park, got it. made you think a it little did. bit. It made you think, you know. But There's, then the there, others are just some like, ramifications yeah. about the whole thing about. You know, cloning. Yeah, and, you can and do creating, it. Should you do should, it? Yeah, yeah. And now it's just—I'll be honest. I, I was even surprised that they kind of did this rebooty kind of a thing with it. Well, they're technically they all, sequels. No, I know they are sequels, so. but you know what I mean. It—it it, it needed to be, I guess, yeah. in their mind, reintroduced yeah. to a newer audience. Um, I don't know how successful they were, but in Jurassic World. You would see a little, a little different. Um, uh, what is it? Owen, his character, you know, Chris. Yeah, Chris Pratt uh, brings. It. I'm not saying that role is different. Different for him at that time, when I when he saw when I saw him in that one. Right. Um, so I like that one. But I, I I will say this: my favorite performance of his is the Lego movie. The Lego it really movie. is. Yeah. He's he is uh, he's Emmett. He's just almost he's irrepressible. So he's just like he's almost like Pollyanna. He's totally. just so positive about it. He'll do you know, hello, overpriced coffee. Hello, right. I mean yeah. everything. Yeah. He's just everything. He's just so out. happy to be everything. Just is so happy to be there. You got it. Yeah. And then it's of course great. you know it takes a little turn when he's believed to be the special one. Right. And, yeah. And. Yeah, well, that movie, that, one. that movie takes a turn. That movie gets yeah. dark at the end. You know, it's sort of kind of, you know, when you realize what's going on. Yeah. In, I mean, in it's, it's very brilliant. interesting because it definitely works on two levels. Yeah. For the for the younger audience and for an adult audience. Yeah. And uh, really, and I think it's successful on both levels. Oh, most definitely. And it, and it opens up, I want to watch it, that. It, it opens up a whole, I'm not going to say can of worms, but it opens up so many opportunities for Lego to do so many more, and they have oh, yeah. some. Some are shorts, and uh, some, oh, they some, did the some Lego are games Batman, and all which this is super one. fun, right? And um, that the whole it 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 allowed people like uh, you know Will Arnett when he's doing yeah. Batman to be able to do like a whatever you want yeah. to call that a Christian Bale take on yeah. it. But he's my most... he's probably my fourth favorite Batman. <laughs> But uh, I, I just enjoy third. this. I this think Will unbridled. Arnett is my third favorite Batman. This unbridled uh, enthusiasm that his character, that Chris Pratt brings to Emmett is is just, and it, it's it's like the touchstone because everybody's yeah. kind of revolving around him, good, bad, or indifferent, whether it's, you know, the Liam Neeson, that guy. You know, everybody's still, they're kind of, yeah. they're like orbiting around him. And it's yeah, it's, he really is great yeah. in that. It's he's just here. It's that it's voice. It's yeah. in his voice. Oh, yeah. It's, it's just wonderful. So great. Yeah. Um, yeah, wow. So. We overlapped on a couple there. Yeah, two so, of them. Yeah. 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 Um, he also shows up as just like that other guy in her. You know, her. and he's fine. Right. He's there for her you know, as a friend yeah. slash, you know, double so, date or whatever thing. But you um, yeah, good. All right. So I asked you about movie props. What's a movie prop that, movie that prop. you would want? Okay. I... So, I I, I had one in me when you when you asked it. I think it's okay. It's what, a great question. The, the First one that came to me is um, the Maltese Falcon from the movie Maltese yeah. Falcon. Yeah, yeah, and I, I don't mean just like a. Cl I would want like the actual oh, thing no, they used I in mean the movie. The That's what I'm talking about. Oh, like I mean, not just the thing, because uh, you can get some like things. Yeah, but um, oh, yeah. I should have. You know what? I should have brought that. Um, yes, you should have. The Indiana Jones idol I, thing. Yes, so, you have one friend of, of the show, Chris, at one point in time, um, did a 3D printed um, the idol from the beginning of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh, it's weighted down. It's heavy. It's gold. It looks awesome. I should have brought that up for this. It um, weighs the same as a bag of sand. Yeah, but, but much. yeah, like a bag of sand. Just a yeah, just a generic bag of sand. Yeah, it weighs so, about the same. That's a good one, Maltese Falcon. Yeah, um, that's a good one. Um, the thing that made me think of it was recently watching. Speaking of Indiana Jones, um, the um, from the from the Last Crusade, the Grail Diary, like his father's his father's. Grail, that's book. what made you know. Yeah. Watch, I'm just like you know what, that is a that would be a cool prop 
to have, mm -hmm. you know, with all the yeah. drawings in it and stuff like that, because you know that they went through it. Like, I would love, like, that'd be one of those, like, cool things. Sure, there's, like, oh, yeah, I want Captain America's shield and blah, blah, yeah. blah, or yeah. give me Luke's lightsaber. But, um, yeah. uh, in fact, you know, if you're going Star Wars, I would rather have Han Solo's blaster than Ooh. any of the, the, um, the lightsabers, to be honest. I'd rather have Han oh, Solo's Although, if you blaster. could have... You could have, I'd like the real one, not the yeah, not no, the, no, no. I mean like the, the uh, one mock up ones. I, I, I wouldn't mind having a Han Solo and case and carbonite hanging on the wall either. Yeah, that would be that. That's that, a that one. Is it's a been special, done though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, you could get a refrigerator door that looks like yeah, that. Now, yeah. you know, I mean, I, I, you know, any on. anything from the Wizard of Oz, I think, would be incredible. And actually, speaking speaking of the Indiana Jones series, the other thing would be good is. To use a prop as like a wall design, when when they show them uh, either flying across the world to different oh, sites, yeah, so if you could maps. just have a map, yeah, from that, would, that one, yeah, that would be which cool. is That'd also cool. earlier done in Casablanca, yeah. But the same idea, just like you know, moving oh, stuff yeah, around would, with like an cool. arrow coming from one city to another. I think that'd be great to have something like yeah. that. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that, that's what made me think of that that whole. Um, no, that's a grail. That's a, that's, grail that's, a, that's that a great is. question. There's yeah. this. Oh, you imagine so many things. There, there are. Just, there are just, so many just, things. You know, but just like all this cinematic history, there's so many. No, yeah, there, there are. There that'd are be, so many. Yeah, it'd be right. incredible. Anyway, um, hey, who are we doing next? I have no idea. I we, suppose uh, you want me to get something. I for would you like know. you to get the bucket. Yeah, I'm gonna. You're gonna. You can get that. Oh, so time. we can blame me so now. We can blame you when we have to do Ethan Hawke. That. Okay. All righty. Who is the next one? Who is the next one? It's not Ethan Hawke. Yes. <laughs> All right, Emmett. I love that. All that right. is one of my enthusiasm. See, it's not that, that, that it's infectious. You can't, you can't uh, get rid of it. So, All right, folks. Hey, thanks a lot. Um, have a great day. Thanks for watching and uh, listen to the podcast. The same stuff, just... Um, you know, it's difficult to watch this show while you're driving. So everything is awesome. Um, everything is awesome. So. Take care. See you next time.